Super intelligent AI sounds like science fiction, powerful enough to run the world or destroy it. But the most powerful minds in tech are already working behind the scenes to make today's AI smarter, faster, and more capable than ever. Every new update brings it closer to understanding us and maybe even replacing us. What happens when it finally crosses that line? On today's episode of The Infographic Show, we're showing how the world is not ready for AI superintelligence. It's hard to believe that 10 years ago, AI wasn't a thought in most people's minds. Back then, students who wanted to cheat on an essay would buy it online, or they would just copy pages from an article and hope their teacher didn't notice. But then, seven letters changed everything. Chat GPT, created by OpenAI under the oversight of AI mastermind Sam Altman, it revolutionized just about everything, spitting out text with just a typed question. Soon, this expanded to photo filters, even illustrations, all done within a few seconds. Sure, it wasn't always accurate or effective, but it was good enough for many people, and Altman was just getting started. As soon as ChatGPT arrived on the scene, an AI arms race began. Google, Microsoft, Meta, and even X getting in on the action. Soon, everyone had their favorite AI, be it the clinical omnipresent Gemini or the eccentric Grok, and if one debuted an innovation, everyone had to have it or fall behind. The result was a fast improvement in AI with each successive rollout of ChatGPT, making the AI sound more realistic, more accurate, and more human. And we might be approaching a terrifying singularity. The idea of a powerful AI taking over humanity is nothing new, and the outcome is usually terrifying. Whether it's Skynet starting a nuclear war in the Terminator franchise, or the homicidal HAL in 2001 A Space Odyssey, not even kids' movies are safe. Wall-E saw a ruthless and practical AI named Otto determined to keep what was left of humanity as pacified animals aboard a spaceship. All of these AIs have a few things in common. They have no sense of human compassion, and they are far smarter than any human could ever be. And this might not stay science fiction for long. The concept of superintelligence has been floating around for a long time, a hypothetical figure that possesses intelligence dwarfing that of even the most brilliant humans. And ironically, those smartest humans might be the ones responsible for creating it. Superintelligence isn't easy to achieve. There are many established programs that can do specific things better than any human can, but what sets superintelligence apart is its skill at, well, everything. This hypothetical being would be able to outperform a human in any relevant area and be able to learn new skills faster than any human could. And to many people, that already sounds familiar. ChatGPT isn't a true sentient artificial intelligence, despite how it sometimes seems. Rather, it's a large language model, filtering billions of data points into its responses in a matter of seconds. But given how it can spit out serviceable prose from the most specific prompts imaginable, it's becoming a more effective simulation by the day. And that is all under the purview of Altman, who's determined that his star project wins the AI arms race. This is likely to continue, as OpenAI's research pushes the bounds of technology, some might say way too far. Sam Altman might be the first name in AI right now, but he is far from its founder. Scientists have been working on it for decades, and few have been more influential than Jeffrey Hinton, a British-Canadian scientist who specializes in computer science and the nature of cognitive function. He was one of the first to work on artificial neural networks, which simulate the function of a human brain and mimic the way neurons transmit information. Hinton's research was the foundation of much of modern AI research, and now he is desperate to stop it. Hinton is one of the many scientists warning of the chance of an AI apocalypse, but it's not going to look like the ones in the movies. When Jeffrey Hinton won a Nobel Prize in 2024, he publicly thanked one of his former students for firing Sam Altman during OpenAI's brief boardroom coup. This is part of Altman's controversial status among AI experts. Many say, to some, he's a man racing toward profit while ignoring the risks to humanity itself. But if you ask Altman, the ball is already rolling and it might be too late to stop it. Altman is cagey about the secrets of his world-famous chatbot, but he's become increasingly open about how he feels AI is in the future. In a 2025 interview with Political Magazine, he made clear that he thinks the journey to a true digital superintelligence has already started. He believes that within five years, AI could be more powerful than anyone had imagined, and it could evolve out of ChatGPT. Altman already believes the chatbot might be smarter than him, and after a short time playing with it, he might have a point. ChatGPT's current version, GPT-5, has a knowledge base that can't possibly be equaled by any human. 
its reaction time dwarfs even the fastest mind. However, it does have its limitations, including deductive reasoning and creativity, which is the foundation of human intelligence. There's a wall between this current highly effective AI chatbot and the kind of sentient artificial intelligence that was considered the province of science fiction until now. But increasingly, scientists believe it could be crossed soon, and it might be a race against time to get it first. Altman is far from the only person with his eye on the potential quantum leap in AI technology, and as usual, the United States and China are on opposite sides. While in the USA, all eyes are focused on the flashy new usages of AI for the everyday user, China may be more hyper-focused on pushing the technology further. In October 2025, a speech in Hangzhou grabbed global attention. Eddie Wu, the CEO of Chinese tech giant Alibaba, told a room of investors that the future would belong to two forms of AI, artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence. And in his view, the latter would guide the former. And in doing so, they crossed a barrier. It was well known that big tech was looking toward a future where super intelligence was a possibility. But no one openly talked about it until now. This likely means that experts on both sides of the Pacific are quickly looking into just how far they can push the technology beyond the bounds of human intelligence. And once that happens, the future may be out of our hands. After all, if AI becomes smarter than humans, it'll be able to develop new innovations that will make it smarter faster than we would. The only question is whether we will restrain it from doing so. And as we all know from science fiction, that always goes well. Most of the stories of AI gone wrong involve them breaking through the bounds that humans set for them. Right now, AI can't actually think on its own, it can only process, and it certainly can't feel. Regardless of how convincing AI chatbots might be, they are not actually sentient. And that might be the final frontier. For the longest time, scientists assumed that creating an actual sentient AI that could outthink humans was in the realm of science fiction, and it should probably stay there. After all, even the smartest AI programs right now are about collating information and creating something using predictive text. What AI can't do is come up with an answer that doesn't already exist somewhere else. Ask it how to cure cancer or stop global warming, and it'll give you someone else's idea, not its own. But that far-off unrealistic frontier is getting closer and closer. Each new large language model is more powerful than the last, and it does a better and better job of simulating human intelligence. But no matter what comes next, no one is truly prepared for what happens when we actually match and surpass human intelligence. It's likely that things will happen extremely fast once that threshold is breached. After all, AI programs already outclass human brains in processing speed and information recall. If they ever learned to reason like us, they would surpass human intelligence in seconds. And that could change everything for humanity. Over the last few decades, there have been scientists who started to specialize in AI. In the past, most of them warned for caution in the field, saying that the effects of AI superintelligence were impossible to predict. It could be deadly for humanity. Scientists like Stephen Hawking were among the first to warn of this, signing open letters warning of the danger in unrestrained AI. Even tech gurus like Elon Musk espoused those views until the arms race was on and they weren't going to be left in the dust. But now the ball is rolling and it may be impossible to stop. And with every great leap forward, there's the chance of a massive fall. What does it mean when human creativity becomes automated? Tim Rocktoshel, one of the top AI experts in the world and a key scientist at Google DeepMind, the tech empire's AI workshop, might very well be the person to crack the mystery. But does he want to be? When he was interviewed by science website Live Science, he initially provided a rosy opinion of the possibility. He believed this could create a world that looked a lot like utopia. The economy would grow exponentially, people would live longer thanks to new scientific and medical discoveries, humanity would benefit from new ways to experience entertainment thanks to AI creativity. But that could be a terrible double-edged sword. Humanity is already turning to AI to replace countless jobs. In some cases, that might actually be a good thing. Robots could take over factory work, the repetitive, exhausting labor that humans often endure in harsh or unsafe conditions, sometimes even in sweatshops or prison factories overseas. Much of the labor that AI could replace is the kind that humanity will be happy to have off its back. But that could be just the start of the job apocalypse. As AI continues to evolve, it'll find it possible to do more and more complex jobs. Already, it's threatening the jobs of writers everywhere. Accountants are relying more on AI-based software to collate collections, leaving them mostly just checking its work. AI-assisted medical research is becoming invaluable as scientists can sift through millions of possible data points much more easily. 
How long before these AI assistants become capable of doing the whole job? That's one of the things that'll happen immediately when AI truly gains super intelligence. And what will happen to the rest of us? This will cause a loss of jobs unlike anything seen before in human history, making the Great Depression look like a leisurely stock dip. Governments will have to step in, and that will likely mean some sort of universal basic income to provide for people's needs. While some have already been advocating for this, it would free up not only so much money but time as well, leaving people at loose ends. And if they become sedentary and complacent as some worry, well, that far-off future doesn't look so out there anymore. And this could throw whole economies into chaos. It's likely that the countries most prepared for this chaotic upheaval in our way of life would be the richest countries, the ones who are already deeply involved in AI research – the United States, Western Europe, China, Japan, South Korea, and the oil-rich countries of the Middle East – would weather the change. But what happens to everyone else? It's likely that whole economies will collapse around the world, causing a massive competition for resources, both within countries and outside of them. An increase in wars is almost inevitable unless there is a quick effort to relieve global poverty. And guess what would be best suited to take advantage of this rush to combat? Another case where Hollywood isn't likely to be exactly true to life is the role of AI in warfare, but that doesn't mean that it's not primed to be a big problem. In fiction, AI usually goes rogue fast, seizing control of the world's weapons and turning it on its creators. Sometimes that takes over humanity, like Skynet. Other times it decides the only way to protect the world is to eliminate its biggest threat, us. But in reality, the idea of AI going rogue and defying commands is one of the lesser concerns. After all, we are still coding it, and barring a truly unexpected malfunction, we are likely to stay in control, but that may not be a good thing. AI will very quickly be put in charge of creating new and efficient ways of doing warfare. In some ways, it is already at it. One of the areas where it's already being used is in drone technology. Companies like Amazon are using unmanned drones to deliver packages. They are able to map out routes, follow directions, and safely deliver a payload. Now take that technology and replace the pair of socks, or the container of pad thai, with a payload of small explosives. Now magnify that drone by a few hundred, and you start to see the kind of destruction AI could wreak when turned to warfare. And that is before it starts working on bigger projects. One of the most powerful things about AI is the way it can filter through millions of data points in a fraction of the time of humans, and find possible leads or weaknesses. The next world war won't be fought with bombs, it'll be fought with code. Countries will try to take down each other's cybernetic infrastructure and disable their defense systems or even their power grid, throwing the country into a panic and making them vulnerable to a sneak attack. The first country to get an AI powerful enough to do this could have a massive edge in the next major war, and the next deadly weapon could come from its mind. In the past, designing new weapons for war was incredibly tricky and risky. This was clearest during the race to the atom bomb, when countries searched for suitable places to detonate real models. The result was mass amounts of deadly radiation being released into the atmosphere. AI could run millions of simulated tests to predict how a weapon behaves, slashing the need for real-world trials, and getting weapons battle-ready far faster regardless of the human cost. And that raises one big question, who is the AI looking out for? It's unlikely we'll ever create an evil AI. We wouldn't program it to be cruel, only just as cruel as we needed it to be for its job. But that doesn't mean that it would have human ethics. AIs are typically designed to be analytical, and that can often mean making a cold-blooded decision devoid of any sentiment. We've seen this start to play out already with self-driving cars. The decision the car makes is not always to protect as many human lives as possible. AI may complete its tasks for us, but it's not human, and it'll likely never think like one. And that may mean humans will find it easy to use for evil. We're already in the first wave of one of the eeriest parts of the AI revolution, misinformation. It's getting easier than ever to create photorealistic fake images for propaganda. It could be a shot of a hated politician cozying up to a criminal, or a heart-wrenching picture of children killed in a controversial war, all designed to manipulate emotion or money. And honestly, there's definitely a middle schooler out there using an image generator to prove that his Canadian girlfriend is real. But what happens when the lie becomes self-sustaining? One of the most dystopian parts of the AI arms race has been unfolding recently, as Hollywood's began promoting projects starring rookie actress Tilly Norwood. The young woman has been hyped as the future of cinema, except she is not real. She's a photorealistic AI program and has been shown off in impressive displays of what she would look like in action movies and other genres. 
The backlash was swift, with actors refusing to let this computer program come for their jobs. But the technology was impressive and convincing, and that means that almost anything could be created. Imagine a world where a government wants to demonize a political opponent, so they simply generate a series of videos showing him committing a horrible crime. How would he prove his innocence? Would the public even believe him if he did? And an AI that was truly self-sustaining and intelligent could not just spread propaganda for the government, but for itself. It could easily convince the public that any place without AI is a disaster waiting to happen. And as the technology becomes more and more advanced, it becomes harder to tell the difference between fiction and reality. And the scariest part is, much of this is already here. Today's AI is incredibly impressive, able to blur the lines between fantasy and reality, and convince millions that it is actually thinking. But it is still controlled by humans, and often manipulated to make the technology seem indispensable. Would we even know the difference when it started to think for itself and work on its own self-interest? That's a question that can't be answered now. But it is part of why the majority of scientists still urge caution with AI work. But the problem is, the ball is rolling, and it is not stopping. Not only are all major tech companies seeking an edge on each other in AI, but so are most of the powerful countries. This has moved so fast that even some powerhouses are being left in the dust, like Apple. Their own AI research sputtered out and led them to cut side deals with other tech companies to power their new devices. And the fear of being left behind will drive everyone to push past any barriers in pursuit of wealth or power. After all, the idea is that whoever conquers AI will rule the world. But will they really be the one in charge? AI research is so new in its current form that there aren't the laws that govern many other types of scientific research. This has led to countless ethics and safety regulations being skirted as companies drop new technologies while they are still in their beta phase, allowing people to troubleshoot. And OpenAI is finding out the consequences of this the hard way. Their technology allows people to play with copyrighted characters. Now, studios like Disney are filing lawsuit after lawsuit against the rookie tech powerhouse to shut down this part of their service. But progress keeps on marching along. Everyone is so obsessed with perfecting their own version of AI that someone might wind up pushing it just a bit too far and creating the perfect AI that can keep building on itself. And if an AI gains super intelligence and winds up taking over humanity, it likely won't happen with a dramatic firing of nukes or a menacing robotic face appearing on all of our computer screens, it's more likely to happen behind the scenes while we're all happily generating videos of Tilly Norwood dancing with Mickey Mouse. And by the time we realize what's happening, it'll already be too late. We've spent years teaching AI exactly how we think, but soon it won't need us at all. We've been prompting it, but soon it'll be prompting us. We are clearly not ready for AI superintelligence. But what if the damage has already begun? Watch, we're watching the end of humanity in real time to see how the future might already be slipping away. Or click on this video instead.